Uh, my goals for London, obviously I'm going there to win gold, and I mean, everyone is. Uh, but I want to win, and I want to win in world record time. And I want my time to be so fast that everyone watching just kind of goes like, wow, that was fast, you know. Because uh, top athletes in Paralympic sport, we are professional. And we're out there, all of us are out there. We've got a common goal in that we want everyone to take note of us. And for us to run fast is really going to help that. Uh, I'd probably say my greatest achievements would be, well, everyone would think that I would say, uh, my gold medals in Beijing in the 100 and 200 metres and the 4x1 relay. Uh, but probably I'd have to change that this year when I ran 10.88 seconds for the 100, uh, only because it's so close to what the able board guys run. And uh, for me and also my coach, it was a big deal for us to be able to run close to them because we are trying to prove that we're out there trying to prove that uh, disabled athletes are professional athletes and we deserve the same recognition. And I came straight from high school basically into the AAS and uh, wouldn't have done it any other way. This has been the best place for me to be an elite athlete. It's given me every opportunity and it's put me where I am today. The AIS has played a really major part in all of my preparations for major championships in that um, they've been able to help us and my, me and my squad in Irena to be able to go and prepare where we need to prepare uh, for those major championships. Uh, we're going to Brisbane because we need hot weather, uh, especially as a sprinter. I need to be able to train in the hot weather uh, so that it's less dangerous for me with my muscles and my preparation, I can do my proper speed work. Yeah, I've got a really special, I suppose, bond with Irina, my coach. And um, I met her back in when I was 16 and I haven't trained basically with anybody else other than her since then. I have trained for a little while with her mum, but under her instruction. So um, the women in that family have a pretty special, uh, pretty special for me. Uh, Irene is basically my secretary, my personal assistant and my psychologist all wrapped in one neat box and uh, yeah I wouldn't be where I am without her. Um, I don't think that I'm an exceptionally talented athlete, it's just that she's an exceptionally talented coach. And a lot of the time I'm out there and I want to prove people wrong so a lot of the time it's the people that haven't helped me to get to where I am that really help me to be where I am. There's a lot of people I suppose that uh, don't have well wishes for you all the time and they're the people that really charge you up and get you ready ready to go. I don't know I just always competed against able-bodied athletes as a young kid and going through school I was up against them because obviously there's not that many disabled kids getting around doing uh, sport and so I learned early that I needed to compete with them and I've carried that through my life. I just really want to be up there competing as a professional athlete and I want people to know that I'm a professional athlete so to do that, I need to race against these guys and I need to race against able-bodied athletes and I need to beat them.